Welcome to the QMotion installation video for the QLink system. The first step is to be sure you have all the tools needed. Let's go through them. Number one, a measuring tape. Two, a pencil. Three, a string level for leveling the entire QLink system. Four, a leveling frame or laser level for bigger jobs. Five, a number two Phillips screwdriver. Six, an electric screwdriver. Seven, a 332nd inch drill bit. Eight, a quarter inch nut driver. Nine, drive extension. 10, a 10 millimeter open end wrench. And number 11, these are special wrenches provided, a pre-wind wrench, and lastly, a spanner wrench. These are necessary to do the job. Once we have all these tools, we will then begin the installation. To begin with, we measure the opening to be covered using the measuring tape. We do this to ensure that the assembly will fit. To do this, we will add up the total width of all the shades together, and if the opening is slightly larger, divide the difference between the opening and the total overall shade width by two. You use this number then to offset your first bracket by this amount to make sure that the shades are even in the space. This will line up the whole system and center it on the opening. If however the opening is too small and you have an inside shade mount, you need to contact customer service immediately. Let's now install the end brackets. Again, we measure the opening from end to end. The center measurement is equal to the opening divided by two. Now, use this number to find and mark the center of the opening. Once this is marked, Let's add up all the shade packages to confirm the width of our entire opening. There should be a confirmation sheet with the shades themselves. Now divide the overall width by two and then measure that distance from the center mark of your opening that you've already put up. This is where the outside edge of each bracket will be placed. Not the inside edge, but the outside edge. Next temporarily place each bracket at the proper position and mark the screw slots. Now, pre-drill the mark slots using the 332nd inch drill bit and be sure that the screw will go into some sort of structure that can support the shade. If you do not have that sort of structure in the wall, use the appropriate wall anchors. Now mount the brackets using the supplied screws. We will now use the colored labels on the shades to determine the mounting positions and final assembly. Lay out the shades on the floor in the following arrangement, with the shade labeled Sprung, a pink label, on the right side of the opening. Next, we will put the shade labeled Motor, which has a green label, on the left side of the opening. We will then place the remaining shades with yellow labels between the two shades according to the size and the order sheet. Remember, any of the shades can vary in width, so be sure that the shades are in the proper location and order. We will now install the coupler brackets. To begin this, run a string from one end of the bracket to the other and place the level on the string. This is to be sure you have a level placement on your final product. If your string is not level, adjust the brackets accordingly to get a level adjustment. Now we will measure from the outside of an end bracket to the middle of the first coupler bracket. Use the width of the shade packaging to determine the spacing. Again we measure from the outside edge of the bracket to the middle of the coupler bracket based on the distance or width of the shade. This is to give us the correct position for the coupler bracket on the wall. The next coupler bracket is measured from the center of the previous coupler bracket and installed. Again, use the width of the shade to determine this. Now let's look at a coupler to see how it is set up correctly. First, make sure that the disc nut sits flush with the end of the screw post or slightly recessed, as seen here. 
This will allow it to be slid into place. Let's now install the shades. We will begin with the sprung side. Step 1. Insert a sprung shade spindle into the end bracket. Step 2. Insert a coupler assembly into the other end of the sprung shade. Step 3. Mount the coupler onto the bracket. Notice that the back nut slides up into the support bracket. It will click into place, but make sure it is all the way in. Now install the inner shade into the coupler and continue down the line repeating these steps over and over again until you reach the motorized shade at the end. Next, for added security, install the safety straps onto each bracket. Finally, we will install the motorized shade in the end and secure the last coupler bracket. You have now installed the shades correctly and they are on the wall. Let's now adjust the hem bars on each shade to line them up. Always start on the sprung side to do this and always use clean gloves or plastic from the shades to keep the shades clean. Now hold one shade in the right hand and the other in the left and adjust as needed to get the hem bars even. Usually you will adjust the left one up or down. You will then use the spanner wrench to tighten up these locking rings. Next you'll move on down the line and get all your Q-Link shades adjusted, adjusting the hem bars as needed. If the distances between your shades are not perfectly parallel, as you can see here, you can adjust for this. To do this, use a 3 8 inch or 10 millimeter wrench and adjust the bottom screw on the coupler assembly up or down no more than two and a half turns. The couplers are set at the midpoint at the factory and you can adjust in either direction in the field. Turning left will adjust the coupler downwards, opening the bottom gap a little. Turning right raises it, closing up the bottom of the shade. Adjust as needed to get a parallel spacing all the way down. Also, if your shade does not go all the way up, you will use the pre-wind on the motorized end to slip in and then turn the nut about a half a turn in the opposite direction of the shade. Then place it back into the spindle, keeping the wrench on it all the way. This will tighten up the spring and raise your shade to the top. Let's now program the shades. Your shade has factory preset positions already in it. However, we must activate the shade and set the new down position. To do this, tug on the hem bar down at least 12 to 18 inches to start the activation process. Two, press and hold the up button for approximately five seconds until the shade begins to move up and back down jogging a bit. The shade is now activated and ready to learn the bottom position. Next, pull the hem bar down to the desired bottom position. Then press and hold the down button for approximately five to seven seconds until the shade begins to move up. Keep holding it and the shade will continue all the way up until it reaches the top. The shade has now learned the down position and is ready for operation. 